Welcome to Super Buddies Forever and our how-to on making our room box surprise room for the attic and reading room for the book party dolls of Ever After High. This is the materials that I started with. It's pretty simple. Now this one was done in a 12 by 12 by 12 box, the same as the Ever After High dorm rooms. So um, a lot of this part is just recap. Specifically, I loved this scrapbook sticker and that really set me off for the idea of what I wanted to do. Uh, being a surprise room, I did not make the furniture. This was some stuff Grace had from a Costco monster coffin doll, dollhouse bookcase. It was an interesting piece and so I just reused some of these. I will redo all these as you've seen in the tour. First I'm going to prime them of course with my favorite one, two, three bullseye primer and I happen to have this spray paint around. Otherwise you could have painted them with um, just regular craft paint but in this case I had that so I used it. I didn't end up using that copper paint that I showed there. Got my trusty sidekick Miss Panda keeping an eye on things nice and alert and aware. <laughs> At least she's not snor snoring. So here is the inside of the room. Again, this is a recap of what I've done with all of the rooms. Um, that shows my dimples where I put the window to cover it. Of course, all of this is on step three and shows this in complete, full, and thorough detail. So I won't go through it. I'm just kind of showing you where I'm at at this point. Everything is the same. As I told you in the tour, this is a spacer, so it's going to match up and does match up to Mira's room in case Mira does not get a doll and um, I don't have a blank space there. And just a good way to take advantage of making a nice idea, especially because these only have three dolls. I didn't want to do a 18 inch box room for that. So here I am on this. I totally loved this um, leather cave look and um, the browns, you know, I love fabrics. So this was really a fun way to do it. Um, this here is the mirror, which is going to be having one on the other side for Mira as if they're looking through when they go to try and get her, talk to her through the mirror. That was where the whole attic idea came from. And um, I've already done a library with Gulia, so I didn't really want to do a library again. So here's all the items with their primer coat and their spray painted base coat. Now we got to start doing some fake leather and fake wood. I was really hyped to do this particular, these techniques so I could show you the fake faux leather look. The fake wood, faux wood with dry brush dragging, I didn't show that again. You can see that on Hunters. I think I've showed it a few times, so you can go back and check that out if you haven't seen it already. Here's just showing all the pieces. That was a little case that Grace had overpainted, so I thought that would look good, and I just extra thick overpainted it as well that little trunk that's back there i didn't put a lot of attention to that okay so now we'll do some faux leather it's you've used your base coat already your color and now you just pick two other colors quite quite distinct in their shades like you want a big difference and this is called stippling and then you just dry brush again don't swirk back and forth, but actually dab and get rid of some of the paint in this case. It does help if you have the blunt tip brush. And this is all it is. This is yet another easy, simple technique. Tedious, time consuming, but rather easy. So I just stipple along with my lighter color, full on color that it is. I like to get into the cracks and turns and folds first just because it, so it doesn't get too thick, if that makes any sense. And then um, next, to change the colors, and it is only two colors at this point, uh, leather, when you see it on between its texture and the light hitting it, it, it tends to look different shades all the time. So here you just mix and blend a little bit more darker brown, less lighter or more lighter, less, and you're gonna get so many different shades stippled on this, and it is a layered process that it will begin to look like leather. So here you see I'm putting more dark. You kind of eyeball it and go, hmm, what do I want more? Depending on which shade the leather is in my vision. You can even get creative and make it lighter where there might be wear spots. But for the most part, if it's to look like new leather, just 
layer and blend and see these darker ones they start coming on stipple a little bit more to blend it in or you're going to cover that with the next layer and it's really just an eye thing sometimes when you're working on a project pull it away from you because you don't look at it six inches close while you're playing with it and displaying it so pull it away from you to have a look and go oh does that shade look right and um, that is how we do this process here so this I've done all the steps and here's where I'm at now um, I didn't like the wood on those parts of the lamps and tables so I did that with the copper here is a little bit of look where I'm at now the actual seat parts I didn't do perfectly because I know I'm putting a cushion on it and it just wasn't quite necessary now it looks a little blotchy at this point that's the difference between the lighter and drastically darker um, colors of paint we decided and you can do this with any color by the way too because leather comes in a wide range of colors so next I'm going to take my darker brown and just mix it with some white I'm preferring to use a pearl just because I have it around and um, I don't know I just thought maybe the little bit of pearl in it would just be something I would like that's not necessary you can use white so now I'm taking that dark brown making it yet a different shade by adding white and I'm stirring 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 I thought maybe you needed to see how much I was stirring that's why I'm stirring so much <laughs> sometimes I laugh at myself somewhere in here you're gonna see my fingernails are painted for the ball so um, this has been in progress for two months this project <laughs> sorry about that delay um, you can see the shelves here are getting painted with the copper oh now we're finally doing some work okay so now I got this custom mixed shade of brown and I'm gonna just repeat on top now this I will go on most of all of it depending on whether you want wear marks or not you can leave some lighter but now this will blend it in and bring it all together this almost becomes like the original color of the leather the final color and what it was going to be and what you've already done is the shades that it looks when it hits the lights it's when the light hits it so that is uh that process really really simple now that i set the furniture into the room i'm having a peek at it and i'm loving it i'm happy where it is if you're not happy with where your shades if it's too blotchy just as it dry after it's dry go and touch it up some more till you get it the way you like it i do put some matte spray on it just because i want to protect the work i've done in case i drop anything and that's just me doing what i do sealing it the way it should be um you seen that mirror i use the pencils like blondie just to add a little bit because that was kind of plain and here on the lamps just to add a little extra more realism is if some light is coming out of it very simple you can see yellow paint then i use my pencil to make the holding wires on top and i added a little uh, st uh what's that stuff called i forget st stickles <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat puffy paint just for a little more dimension the mirror here I had found happily this scrapbook paper for this room and mirrors you can check out that tour I love the way that worked out and um, I like to layer it and not just use you can use tinfoil I have in Ravens and Daring's too this was nice to have this much firmer that is plastic packaging from the doll packaging I always save those and I like to put a layer of the plastic and then whatever's looking like the mirror because it just it looks more real to me it, it, I don't know my eye sees these little things and it just adds to it so I got these fabrics I absolutely loved this brown and had to add it I'm going to make some cushions to put on there so it's a little more plush and less hard looking even though it looks good just the way it was and then I got some misprints from back in the day from um, parental reference books and not that I'm going to make them perfect but I'm going to use the foam board to make some books to have around it's not a library but it felt like you know an attic has old stuff so let's put some books in there you can't see them so it didn't matter even when I cut them different sizes and put them on the shelves and that's what those are right there i've made my curtains found those little tassels and something i saved along the way oh here's a better view of those books which are not cut perfectly but since i hot glued and stacked them you don't see that 
last thing I kind of looked at it and I thought, you know, I looked at my own couch and I thought it needs stitching. That was simply done with a fine brush. Stitch each one. You could use a Sharpie, although Sharpie's hard to find in white, but even if it were a lighter than the white, it would still look pretty decent in the baseball stitching. Here's the back of my mirror. I do end up painting the back of that brown because it's on the side and there's a little bit of um, show there. I don't want that to show. So I did paint the back of that brown. Here's a little look at my cushions. If you never have, I have another video tutorial, video journal on how I make pillows and stuff like that. If you want to check that out, ooh, perfect time for an airplane to go by. Now that's passed and we can move on. There's a quick overview and I have to do my sewing. And I have, I did my stitches on there too, like that a lot. And um, here's the cushions all sewn, done up, showing where they are. Now they will move around and slide on there. So I did end up putting just a little teeny dab of hot glue to hold it all in place, especially once the dolls come on, they're going to start sliding all off there and being a mess. So I thought that would help. I love the little pillows and the blue accents. I would have preferred all this stuff kind of in a green, but the paper had the blue in it, so I matched up to that. It was just a matter of um, accessorizing and adding more stuff, like an attic. I did total Captain Random throw stuff in, like it's stor storage kind of area. Hope you've enjoyed this how-to. Um, thanks for watching. As always, see you next time.